Hello and welcome to FSM News. I'm Dominique Pires. And I'm Marquise Brown. FSM News is a product of Free Spirit Media, which is a nonprofit organization that empowers youth voice. Free Spirit Media, in partnership with the Gary Coma Youth Center, After School Matters, and the Medill School of Journalism, present FSM News. Welcome to FSM News. This newscast focuses on some of the disciplinary codes in high school. We wanted to know what some teens think about the discipline in their schools. For example, how would you feel if a teacher was to go through your personal belongings without your permission? I would feel so violated. Yeah, I agree. Take a look at this story reported by FSM's Rosie Martin, who tells us how some teens feel about privacy in their schools. Been a time when you felt like your privacy has been violated? Recently, Vanetta Sims, a student, was part of a random search at her school. Went through my book bag, my purse, and lockers. Every Coma College Prep has a policy on student safety. So it's one of the actual policies for all of the schools um, that they do random searches as opposed to um, metal detectors or other alternatives. Linda Mendez may not enjoy doing searches, but she feels it is a good way to ensure safety for the students. No one likes to go through someone else's stuff, but I do understand why we do them, and because of that, I feel obligated to do them. Benetta Sims may not like the approach to searches, but she knows it helps keep things safe. Because we, don't, we have no metal detectors here, so they're probably trying to make sure nobody brings anything like a weapon to school. Random searches can be a good way to keep the students safe while still letting them have some parts. I think it's okay if they like let us know instead of just barging in the classroom and throwing your stuff around, but I think they should just to keep us safe here at school. Privacy in this case is violated for a purpose, to make students feel safe in school. But where do we draw the line? Is there another way to protect students without violating their privacy? For now, random searches seem to be the best method to keep students away from danger. Thanks for watching our news guests. We hope you're enjoying the show so far. And for those who wear school uniforms, we want to know whether or not they interfere with your personal style. Some teens voice how they feel about school uniforms. We'll have that story up next. Welcome back. Dominique, do you like wearing your school uniform or would you rather pick out a new outfit each day? I just wish we had more freedom in choosing what we wear. Yeah, so we can wear our stripes like we did today. Yeah. <laughs> FSM Sierra Newman has more on how teens feel about school uniforms. At Gary Coma College Prep, some students feel that wearing a uniform is unattractive. I don't like it because I got to look like everybody else and that's not cute. On the other hand, some students feel that wearing a uniform makes them look more professional. The good thing about wearing a uniform is like, you get respect from teachers. But on a normal day, most students would just like to be themselves. I wear to school like some jogging pants and a, a t-shirt all day because I like to be comfortable. For FSM News, I'm Sierra Newman. We're going to continue with the topic of school uniforms because we're pretty sure there's a lot of strong opinions about it. In Teen Talk, you'll find out how you can voice your opinion about school uniforms. Here's Kimani Cannon and Sterling Hill with more. Hi, I'm Kimani Cannon. And I'm Sterling Hill. And, and this, this is, is Teen Talk. Talk. And this week, we'll be talking about school discipline, mainly uniforms and dress codes. So, we placed a poll on our Facebook wall. We want to know how teens felt about uniform and dress code policies. The question is, are dress codes and uniform policies a good idea? Vote yes if you feel that they eliminate distractions in school. Or vote no if you think uniforms unconstitutionally limit students' freedom of expression. And on next week's show, we'll let you know the outcome. Also, in between that time, be sure to hit up our Facebook and become a fan. Search FSM News. Thanks for staying with us. It's time for sports. 
You know, Dominique, I would hate it if somebody told me I couldn't play a sport that I was passionate about. I definitely would too. I love being athletic. FSM's Lovely Howard has a story about what happens to athletes at Westinghouse College Prep when their grades drop. The Westinghouse College Prep boys basketball team has started off with a great season. As with all sports at Westinghouse College Prep, you have to have passing grades to avoid the orange list to participate in extracurricular activities. The orange list, which is actually called a student accountability system, I think that it's a way to hold students accountable for their actions. The students are held accountable for their actions by not being able to participate in extracurricular activities. For instance, if a student is on the boys' basketball team, if he's not doing what he should do as far as homework and is not completing his orange group hours, then he is not allowed to participate in an upcoming game. And that applies to all other um, um, events in the school. Counselor Rebecca Smith says the academic comes first and sports second. Um, I know that the players don't like being um, ineligible because of their grades, but I think that hopefully they know that they're here to learn first and foremost, that their academics are what's most important, and that playing on a sport or being on a club is a privilege, and you don't, it's not just expected, you have to earn that, and in order to earn that, you need to be doing well in your classes. The administrators do their best to help the students complete their responsibilities. One example is students can go to the homework center to complete their hours. What I try to do is uh, keep them encouraged to continue to do the school work so they can be involved with the team. So uh, when they're not able to practice, it's still mandatory that they come to practice and go to the homework center. It's still mandatory. Players think losing team members affects how they play. I think they let the team down because we are family and we need everybody. The players feel it is challenging not seeing one of their teammates on the court. They feel that they not only lose a player, but a family member as well. I think it will be a big hurt for our team because we need everybody to, be, to win our games. Western House offers a variety of sports in which the students can take part. The students on the basketball team at Western House try their best to maintain AC average in order to participate in their sport. Stand off the orange list shows that athletes have high academic standards. On behalf of FSM News, this is Lovely Howard from Positive Teens in Charge. Well, that's our show. We hope that you have enjoyed our newscast this week. Wasn't that such a great story by Lovely Howard? Yeah, I agree. She has such a lovely name. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, we'll have some more sports and teen talk. Until then, visit our Facebook page, search FSM News, and post a comment. And you can also check us out at abc7chicago.com. You can find Free Spirit Media News under the community section. Thanks for watching. See, See ya. ya. Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society.